Hi, I'm Claude. Clinton! Stop. Clinton! Get over here! <laughs> Your Amateur. It's supposed to be reviewing Hawkeye episodes <laughs> one and two. Bonjour, boy. He's beneath you, bro. I was doing this long school. So, what do you think of Hawkeye? Hawkeye, hot show, bro. Duh. Hi, Thanos. We're the lamest defenders. I don't even know who you are. We have a small but dedicated fan base. Be sure to visit our sponsor at BaskervilleProductions.com. Hi, welcome back. So, uh, special thanks to Vitalia for the beginning there. Uh, but Flew the, all the way from Russia. Yeah, to all, St. Petersburg. <laughs> uh, but he, uh, so the, the show starts off, takes place about 12 years ago, during or 2012, excuse me, mm-hmm. during uh, the Avengers movie, where the city's coming down mm-hmm. or the Jachari attack. So we have a nice little backstory on Kate Bishop and oh, Spoilers for Avengers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone will all that well. So uh, Kate Bishop is overhearing her parents uh, argue about money and the economic downturn the country was going through. Yeah, moment. and it's pretty funny, too, because they're in New York City and they yeah. have this, like, 14-story, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. villa. And I was yeah. like, oh, a bunch like, of assholes. Like, a $60 million apart, <laughs> uh, penthouse. I was, happy like, the the penthouse yeah, I was happy that Chitauri was uh, yeah. blowing it up and stuff. Like, what do you – What? how bad are your finances? <laughs> <laughs> sell a $60 million penthouse in Manhattan. I was like, whatever. <laughs> but uh, so – uh, as the building's getting destroyed, there was a uh, – Kate comes out to this mm-hmm. little balcony area. She sees Hawkeye yeah. taking out some Chitari. Yeah, it's that sequence in the Avengers movie, spoilers again, <laughs> is when he's jumping off and he does a big uh, hook arrow, yeah. you know, to, like, go through the building. Yeah, it was really – it was great. Like, I mean, actually, to see it from a different angle was really cool. It was awesome. But, uh, so, yeah, like, she was – so, tragedy strikes uh, and Hawkeye in the show – Hawkeye. By like complete spoilers, mm. her dad dies. But this yeah. is like the first five minutes, so right. whatever, get over it. <laughs> and uh, her dad dies, and then um, she says to her mom, "Like I have to protect us." Mm-hmm. She goes, "No, I'm the mom. I'm supposed to protect you." She goes, "Yeah, but I want a bow and arrow." Yeah. <laughs> so, so then she begins her training and yeah. fast forwards to present day. Yeah, and it was kind of cool because the intro, like the little cartoon the intro, intro, was the like, montage. Yeah, it, it, was it sped everything up. It was so a cartoon. well done. Yeah. yeah, it was great. So she. Uh, uh, fast forward, you got like all these trophies, like for archery and gymnastics, every and martial, martial arts, art, yeah. yeah, all this kind of stuff. And uh, it, and she we were introduced to her mom's beau, mm-hmm. uh, who I guess becomes her fiance, yeah, and mustache man, who looks. Uh, my uh, wife Liz kind of chime, uh, came into the room. She said, it looks like Paul F. Tompkins. He's one of my favorite comedians. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I could see from then on. And uh, But it's a shame he wasn't in this. That would mm. be amazing. But anyway. <laughs> really in the fencing and swords. Which yeah. Is, you know, a, lot a, little, of, uh, a lot of swords. Foreshadowing. Swords are all over the house mm. now. And um, so they go to this gala where there's like a black market auction happening. Yeah, in the basement. And, yeah. yeah. But before that, we get introduced to my personal favorite character of the show so far, Armand. And Armand, uh, it's seven generations of the guy with the same name. A little A, big A, <laughs> but big asshole. Yeah, yeah. And it's so funny because he comes up and he's like, Armand, can we go? I was like, that's no way to talk to an Armand, Armand. Like, what is happening here? Like, it, uh, uh, Kate has the same reaction that I had. It was, yeah. it was fantastic. Yeah. I love that character. It was really good. He's like that crazy old money guy mm-hmm. uh, from New York. It's a, Monopoly it's, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fantastic. Um, so then uh, the... Auction, it, where they're auctioning off Ronin's sword mm-hmm. and suit. Right. I don't remember how they get it. I don't even think they said. They Kinda. said maybe they like stole it from the Avengers uh, uh, mansion or something. Oh, that, yeah, that, that sounds right. Yeah. yeah. So uh, there's a bidding war between Armand and Kate's mom's fiance. Mm-hmm. We're just going to say fiance now to really shorten that up. Yeah. And uh, it w- goes for like $450,000, which is like, a- that's so low. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, it's cheaper than the suit in real life to make. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> So then the uh, the buildings uh, uh, attacked. There are this the, is the Russians. Yeah, the yeah, Russians. The tracks the tracks mafia, mafia yeah. shows yeah. up. The best was, part of the fraction. Oh, yeah, oh, so happy that they showed Just up. Kissed. Yeah, they were so so happy they showed up. Yeah, I saw a lot of Russian names in the title crawl. I was like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and. Uh, but yeah, they come. Up, they show up. They're saying "bro" every other word. Oh yeah, just like the comic. Fantastic. It was so yeah. awesome, like just to hear yeah. him say that. And uh, so Kate is spying on the auction. She steals the suit. She puts it on. Which we got to back up a little bit about the suit or whatever. Yeah. So I'm just. How is this? It doesn't fit her very well. No. But 
which it, I, was, it, I was grateful for. Yeah, but it was still like, is she wearing it her was pants? Than it should have been. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then her like her hoods like way up yeah. here and stuff. So it was just kind of funny because I guess she was just had her like waitress like pants on <laughs> yeah. and her like combat boots anyway. And I was like, all right. Well, I, I will say though, for that costume later in the show, a little later. They actually show it. It looks way baggier. Yeah. So I, I guess it had to be a little tighter for the, the action Stunts, set piece. Yeah. But, yeah, but like it is, it does look a lot baggier. It's, it's like, like, oh, okay, bro. I'm okay, I'm okay with this. Yeah. Cool, bro. Cool. <laughs> and, uh, but yeah, so she leaves. She kind of gets her butt kicked a little bit, yeah. which I really appreciate it. I like that she's not invincible right off the bat. Yeah, she has no experience actually no. fighting. It's yeah. all been like martial arts Sparring, or like fencing. Yeah. Like, so I, I really appreciated that. Like they make her... I actually really like Haley Steinfeld. Mm-hmm. Oh, she's a great Kate actress. Vincent. Yeah, I was blown away. Like she and sounds, yeah, yeah, she yeah, was yeah, great yeah. in that. She sounds exactly like I imagine Kate Bishop sounding like right in the comic. A little like, girl. Oh, yeah, she sounds exactly like it. It's perfect. Mm-hmm. So I was very impressed with that. Um, so she uh, wears a suit, breaks out, and then she. Uh, I'm kind of well, I mean, here. well, what happened was so you you have a dog, and then I guess oh, they, yeah, they're yeah, looking yeah. for some ring yeah. for the Avengers, lucky, yeah. yeah, and then Lucky the pizza dog, oh, the actually, watch. Yeah, 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 it was yeah. a watch, and they grab that, and then she rescues Lucky, and then yeah. they end up going back to her apartment, yeah, and uh, pizza. yeah, and she's like, oh, you must be hungry, it's just <laughs> like the cop, yeah, 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 he loves pizza, yeah. and then um, so it turns out the tracksuit mafia was tracking her just based on her location. She's yeah. not a pro yet, no, so not at all. They yeah. find out where her apartment is. And then it's under attack. Yeah. And basically, um, yeah, that's pretty much how it goes. Because uh, around that time, Hawkeye rescues her, yeah, too. Yeah, Hawkeye shows up. Yeah, in the middle of the street. Yeah. And then they go back to the party. Yeah, like, a bunch of vans and cars show up. They're, yeah. They're going to they're gonna kill her, like, yeah. easily right about there. About to steal the election. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and uh, so, yeah, Hawkeye rescues. They go back to her apartment. And they start throwing Molotovs into the window. <laughs> yeah. And just almost... Building, <laughs> one of them catches building. on fire. Yeah, like, on fire. You're yeah. on fire, bro. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh, I'm not, I'm not hurt. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um. So then they escape in the in the uh, chaos that ensues after that. Mm-hmm. Kate and uh, Hawkeye, and then uh, they come back to Hawkeye. Comes back to the the fire. Puts on a fireman's jacket and mm-hmm. a helmet because everyone they're just laying around. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. <laughs> I was, I was like, like oh, okay. okay, movie magic. Uh, and then he goes in, can't find the suit. Then, you go, then I, the, this is one of the biggest problems I had with the episode was he sees this little sticker on the firefighter, on the fire truck. It says yeah, just, NYC yeah. LARPers, yeah. which I thought was, I was like, oh, that's pretty funny. And then, like, oh, he's going to find the suit through that. Yeah. It was like so serendipitous. But mm-hmm. I mean, it's like, it's comics. It's fine. I got right. to take a little less critical eye. <laughs> <laughs> and that, that's pretty much, that's episode one, really, yeah. in a nutshell, yeah. um, to speed things up, too. But, like, there was one thing that I really didn't like about this episode. I really had to focus on Hawkeye's family, um, oh, just sure. because that was one of my least favorite parts on uh, Age of Ultron. Oh, uh, yeah. And I'm just yeah. like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> and it's got the director from Endgame. Uh, his daughter, she was also in um, Endgame yeah. and Infinity War. Yeah. And she's just a shoe in actress. Yeah. Like, it's just like, man, I wish my dad was a director. <laughs> yeah, she had, I think, a line in Endgame or two, maybe. Yeah. And then now she has a pretty large speaking role in this one. Yeah. Like, you really shouldn't. It's like, Dan, I don't want you to be back. a superhero yeah. anymore. Yeah. And it was just like, Jesus Christ. Yeah. But her, if that's... Her acting wasn't best, the best. Yeah. It, but if that's the most negative thing I have about mm-hmm. the episode, yeah. I'm, you know, honestly, this is a solid, I would say, 8.3 out of me. I'm giving it a 9. Like, 9? I, I love, I love the first show, or episode. I thought it was fantastic. Mm-hmm. So. so let's get to episode two. Basically, it follows immediately yeah. after. So that's right kind of why we're doing both <laughs> reviews at the same time. Because yeah. it was just a, it was a two hour episode, basically. Yeah, it was. It was a two-hour prom- uh, intro. It was mm-hmm. great. So Hawkeye is a little bit uh, cautious with Kate because she is, you know, a young college girl, and he doesn't really <laughs> want her to follow him around. And yeah. it's just, you know, like the the puppy following like the adult dog, yeah. and he's just like, quit it. Like I'll handle things. Like you're already obviously being tracked, so you just need to say. Like they end up staying at her aunt's house, and yeah. she's on vacation yeah. in Florida or something. So that's their kind of hideout. And then Hawkeye decides to go to this LARP festival. <laughs> <laughs> to go get the Ronin suit from my, it was a best, random firefighter. Best scene so far. Yeah, the if you want to, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let, let's hear so, more about that LARP scene. So I, I so he goes up there, and uh, there's a um, there's a female. She's like guarding the post. She's like, hey, no looky lose or something like yeah. that. Yeah, like, just totally corny language. Mm-hmm. And 
It's like, a lot of these guys are firefighters and police. This is just the, how they blow off steam. Yeah. And, and don't break any of the rules because yeah, 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 we'll yeah, come it was so ridiculous. Yeah. And he signs up. He's going through this long process. And she's like, name? He goes, nope. Email? Yeah. That's classified. No way. <laughs> and uh, just goes from there. And he's, and this, she hands him like a rolled parchment. And he's like, okay, like, what's this? Like, those are your, those are your, uh, yeah. Orders, I guess, or I don't know, that you live by, yeah. yeah. So he's not like underscrolling. It's like, it's like God damn. And, it's uh, just hilarious too because his main weapon's a bow and arrow. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, he fits perfectly in this mm-hmm. world. So uh, he had to put on like this really chintzy, like plastic suit of armor, and yeah. all that kind of stuff. And Fake sword. My favorite part of this first two episodes though is when he he sees the guy. Oh, because yeah, one of the fire depart- firefighters stole the Ronin suit, mm-hmm. and he was bragging about it online. Yeah. That's how he found him. So he's at like this hill far away and and uh clint just goes and then all of a sudden like the camera pans around him and you see like that classic slow motion yeah like fighting like all these other guys like, all of a sudden like sick guys just yeah. like beat him up with these swords. <laughs> and he just does a, a yeah. swirl or a link whirlwind move around. yeah <laughs> knocks them all away yeah. and they're and all like, so yeah. like oh, yeah. oh my god <laughs> that is fantastic and then uh the firefighter so he's like, man, I'll give you the suit. Just let me beat you. Yeah. Like, you know you're injured. Yeah. yeah. Like, you you win battles all the time. Like, let me have this. Mm-hmm. And he's like, all right, fine. He's like, God damn. So then they have a duel. And then uh, they're fighting. Like, hey, man, you got to really get into this. I'm like, okay, fine. So he kind of really puts more into it. And then they have this great, like, close up. And then there's this, there's this guy off off the battle. He's just going, clean, clean. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's so Would have been stupid. awesome if we were there. <laughs> it's fantastic. And... He's like, hey, you okay? You ready? He's like, I'm begging you, kill me. <laughs> I just felt like that was the most real line in this show. Right. And it was fantastic. And so he beats him and he gives him the suit back and they move on from there. But yeah. that was fantastic. It was such a <laughs> great show, little scene. Like, it was just perfect. Definitely. And then so he eventually gets the suit back and then he stores it away uh, just because he wants to clear the Rona name because yeah. he doesn't want people to think that there's, all, you know, all this crime and murders happening because of the Ronin suit. Um, and then he calls his family. Hey, basically, yeah, I'm going to yeah. be late for Christmas because yeah. this is running a little bit late. So his plan, too, is just basically figure out what's going on with the tracksuit mafia. And then in the midst of this, he purposefully gets captured, Yeah, which is pretty <laughs> yeah. funny. He's like, all right, let's yeah. just get this over with. Yeah. And there's like four of the, the big, you know, like pedophile bands. Yeah, and it's yeah. like all the Russians <laughs> come out, hit him with the baseball bat. And then he's captured. And this is one of my favorite parts of the entire episode, too, yeah. is like uh, he's supposed to be getting interrogated and uh, he's just they're trying to ask him where Kate Bishop is because yeah. they know her, know her name and everything like yeah, that. I think she's Ronan. Yeah. And he's like, no, I, I have no idea yeah. who. I don't know who you're talking yeah. about. Yeah. And then all of a sudden you hear something from the, the roof and it was Kate Bishop. She tracked. <laughs> she, falls <laughs> she falls right through like, uh, the, <laughs> you know, the sky roof or yeah. whatever. And yeah. uh, she's like, I was trying to rescue you. He, so he also has one of the best lines too in the first two episodes. He goes like, like this is like talking to furniture. Can I speak to the manager? Yeah, <laughs> you know, a real Karen line. <laughs> it was just so funny. Yeah, it was pretty. It was good. some really good comedic beats here, mm-hmm. and it wasn't like it fit the story too. Like it wasn't just some stupid one liner, like Ralph that, Boner. Yeah, <laughs> like, like, yeah. like it actually fit the plot. And yeah. It was funny, and then, like, the writer for the show is doing a great job mm-hmm. so far. So yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And Jeremy Renner, we talked about it off camera. It was just yeah. like. Uh, his Hawkeye has been a little bit lacking with, yeah, you know, I, material. I didn't like him until this. Yeah. I, I really didn't because he had nothing to do. And mm-hmm. now he actually has something to do. It's a perfect set for him. It's small scale. It's like 20 blocks in New York, basically. Yeah. And that's all he's got to worry about. Like, it's perfect. They're, and that's what the Fraction comics yeah, is. They exactly. made you like Hawkeye because yeah. it's this small, more intimate story. And it's it's perfect. And Kate Bishop is very likable, very yeah, charismatic. And they yeah. feed on off each other's beats too. Yeah, they really like do. this show, right? Yeah. <laughs> Which one's Kate? <laughs> it's me. <Bye. laughs> yeah, no. But so then it ends with uh oh it ends with like a big spoiler. So they they have they obviously have both of them. They have them tied up to like this uh those little like yeah little rocking thing rocks, yeah yeah at the mall yeah. where you put a quarter in and there's this really actually pretty good techno music going yeah. on and there's this this woman she's like putting her hand over the over the um subwoofer subwoofer yeah. thank you yeah and he's and i was like what uh, the hell is this even comes in he's like we have both of them he goes bro we have both of them hmm. 
like, all right. And then it's like, it's Echo. Yeah, and then she and goes like this. Echo. Yeah. yeah. And it I was so like, awesome. Yeah. yeah. It's great. So if you don't know, Echo is a big Daredevil, uh, a big originally Daredevil. a villain, right? Big Daredevil. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so they, um, this is what I think is getting teased is yep. her connection with Kingpin eventually because yep. there's rumors that he shows up in the I, second I the last so. episode. Oh, I hope so. So this is all yeah. tying in. It's all coming together. It's, 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 I immediately texted you. Yeah. I was like, how big was that nut, boy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then he has Spider-Man coming up and yeah. it's just like, ah! Yeah. I mean, this is this is all, it's, the dominoes are kind of falling into place. Yeah. So <clears> like, it, I'll, take, I'll take crappy black widow movie i'll take crappy shang chi i'll take crappy eternals yeah if we have a good hawkeye show and a good spider-man show yeah yeah because so. loki was good oh but yeah loki yeah winter, falcon and the winter soldier was terrible that sucked <laughs> and then wandavision was all right wandavision was okay yeah. that wasn't great like it i felt like it kind of cut short away it was a good drink that fell flat it's yeah like the aftertaste is yeah. just flat but like hawkeye man if like that keeps us up it could i could actually I'm, supplant Loki for my favorite. Oh, absolutely! Plus it's show. already up there for me. So, what would you give episode two? I'm giving it a nine. Like mm-hmm. I'm, I'm. It's so far, it's awesome. Like I'm really enjoying the show so far. Like, don't screw it up. Yeah, for the love of God, they don't ever. It's Thanksgiving. Landers. Yeah, <laughs> don't screw this. Give up. us good stuff, not crap. <laughs> But yeah, no, I'm in agreement. I thought this episode was awesome too. So I'm giving it a 9.0. Nice. Um, yeah. So catch us next week for what? Episode, episode three. three. Episode yeah. Three of six. Yeah. yeah, they're, yeah kinda, buddy. they're kind of rushing through this, which makes sense that it's Kingpin because they want this out before uh, Spider-Man. Yeah. Or Spooderman. So. That's a big nut. We'll see. All right. See you guys uh, next week for that one. Thanks so much. Stay lame. Bye. Bye.